Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to feature a guitar that is quite familiar. This is the Sir Matthias Asato in black.
If you're new to this channel, subscribe to this channel and press the bell for notification of future videos to follow and be part of the patrons who support this channel. I would appreciate it. I want to thank Clement from Guitar 77 Plus for passing me this guitar for review. I saw this in the shop and my eyes just gravitate towards it because something about the black guitar, a black finish guitar, glossy black finish guitar with gold hardware, it has a special place in my heart. And I just needed to play this. I had this compulsion to play this guitar. And Clem was so nice to, to, to allow me to bring it home and to do this review. Now, I have reviewed the other one, which is in pink, the Matteo Sasato uh, Sir model. And I like that. I like that guitar a lot. You know, uh, this is a little bit different uh, in price range also because of the roasted ma uh, bird size maple neck. Uh, it's about a grand more, if I'm not mistaken. So basically, it features an older body with a very nice black glossy finish. Mm -hmm. And a beautiful 3A roasted bird's eyes maple neck, as well as a 3A roasted bird's eyes maple uh, fretboard. You know, with a nice tusk nut of a nut width of 41.9 mm, and nice uh, compound radius of 9 to 12 inch. You have a even C medium neck profile, and then stainless steel frets. These are heavy stainless steel frets, jumbo, 22 of them. Black dot markers, right? On the, on the fretboard itself as well as on the side. Now I like the black ones because sometimes guitar makers, I don't know what they're thinking of, they'll have like white, which just gets lost and I'm going to have a hard time, especially in, in, in the stage when it's pretty dark. You can see the dark markers. So these are in black, which is just good, you know, just nice. Um, you have the Sir Lock-In Tuners in gold, really nice, and the Matteo Asato Signature Edge in here, and the Sir logo in gold with a black glossy headstock very nice no string tray again and for the body you have a very nice um, black glossy pig guard you know just m merge seamlessly with the glossy black uh, body itself and then you have a five-way pickup selector switch one volume two tones no push pull nothing like that you have uh, three pickups here now these are interesting these are the v63 for the uh, neck and for the middle single coils really nice and then you have the Asato Bucker in gold for the bridge humbucker now here you have the Sir two-point uh, tremolo system with a steel block right? everything is in gold input jack everything is in gold hardware is in gold right uh, from here you can see the back plate with that steel block over here and then you have a very nice uh, neck joint plate here with the silhouette of Mr. Sato himself, right? Cool. And that's about it. Now, looking at the burst ice maple, the figured, the roasted burst ice maple, uh, you know, neck, it's a beauty. You know, it, it just looks really classy. And then you can see on the fretboard itself. Nice looking guitar, all right? Um, so how does it play? It plays beautiful with the even C medium neck profile. Um, it's a little bit chunkier than what I remember on Sir uh, guitars. Just a touch, you know, and I like it. I know maybe because of my age, I tend to kind of like find the the more girthier uh, neck a little bit more comfortable. This is just up there. You know, it's so nice, and as you go down, it gets slim, get slimmer. The 9.9 to 12 inch compound radius, easy. The stainless steel jumbo frets, easy. Mix bending, a breeze. Um, with the tremolo system that's uh, offer, you know, tremolo work is, is, is just easy to play and a joy to play. Now as for the pickups, how it sounds like, these are the V63. Now in contrary to what people uh, might think, the V63 are very different from the ML or the Michael Landau, uh, uh pickups. The V63 I find has a little bit more pronounced, just a touch more pronounced mid-range, making this a sweeter single chord. And um, yeah, I like the single chords for this. This B63 just sounds great. And then the Asato Baka, it has that bite if you want to. It has um, not incredible uh, output, you know, just nice so that you can rock out with it. At the same time, you can have very nice, sweet humbucking uh, sound on the bridge. And it would just sound nice with melodic lines, you know, on a clean, maybe a bit compressed humbucker sound. Nice. Cool. Right. Um, I just enjoy myself playing this guitar, so I want to thank Clement for uh, giving me this uh, privilege to, to play on this beautiful guitar. It is a joy to play. Sonically, it just sounds great. 
you know, and um, yeah, let me know what do you think about this guitar. Leave your comments in the comment section down below and uh, let me know what you think. Now, guitar is available in Guitar Center 7 Plus Singapore, so if you're in Singapore, pop them down or give uh, Clement a call first before you pop them down and give this a try. I'm sure you'll like it. All right. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, press the bell for notification of future videos to follow. Be part of Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I uh, thank all my patrons for the wonderful love and friendship. And I'll probably be having a, a, a live stream later tonight. So if you're around, yeah, join me. Okay? So take care of yourself, and I'll see you real soon. Everybody, Dad, Chief.